Part of my career, I'm most proud of the fact that uh, I got the chance to help people, help other people in various walks of life, various countries I literally worked in. And to me, that was the most rewarding. My name is Wilbert Luck, Sr. I graduated in May 1957. I was started out in the federal government. Then I went to I was Navy Department, and then I went to the State Department. And I spent most of my time. I lived and worked in 32 African countries in the, doing development work for the State Department. I came here to go to Howard University. My brother was going to Howard, and he told me two lucks at Howard are too many. Go somewhere else. Turns out. Georgetown accepted me, and I was thrilled, and I'm still thrilled. Georgetown, I've always thought of as the best education from Jesuits. And what they did, they taught you how to think and figure things out. So with that, I was prepared to go anywhere and do anything. One of my favorite memories was uh, coming to Georgetown and uh, one of my friends asked me if he could borrow my bag to go to New York. And I said, what am I gonna get for that? He said, you're gonna get my art, my uh, colors, the canvas and so forth. I said, what am I gonna do with that? He said, well, you're gonna paint. I said, I'm taking accounting. I'm not gonna be painting. I'm taking foreign service. So I'm not gonna be have time to paint. And then three days later, he says, come on out. We're going to town. I said, well, I'm sorry, I'm busy painting. Painting, what are you painting? I'm using your stuff. I painted uh, the French Impressionists, and I, I did that whenever I had a chance to. That act has carried me to more art galleries in the world than I ever thought I would go, and I'm still going, even at this point in my life. I have become an Impressionist artist from that uh, long journey that I've been on for years.